Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about why BTS didn't send Suga off to the army when he enlisted. So Suga enlisted in the army on September 22, 2023, and fans were surprised to see that the other BTS members weren't there to send him off. This is unlike Jin and J-Hope, who had big public send-offs with their fellow members. So what was the deal? Here's the thing. Suga enlisted as a community service worker because of his shoulder injury. This means that the rules are different for him than other active military members. On the day of his enlistment, Yoongi just reported to a government agency like City Hall, a public library, or a hospital. He then started working right away, without any big ceremonies or time to say goodbye to his family. Community service workers also get to go home after working eight hours a day, Monday to Friday. They live like normal people instead of staying in barracks like active soldiers. So Suga would still have been able to contact his family and meet up with the BTS members after work hours. That's why the members didn't need to go to his enlistment to say goodbye. After about 10 months of working at the government agency, Suga will have to do basic training at the barracks for about three weeks. Maybe at that time, the other members will come to see him off. But for now, there was no need for a big send-off. So there you have it. Those are the reasons why BTS didn't send Suga off to the army when he enlisted. I hope this video was informative. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more K-pop content. And don't forget to send Suga your love and support during his military service.